experience in the world of education. I went to a public school until I was eight years old. And that was when I chose to leave the conventional school system because of just a discomfort with it. I went to public school all my school life. <laughs> in, in Germany where I'm from, homeschooling is illegal and there was no, no real possibility to choose something else. Luckily I had the kinds of parents who had the, the flexibility in their lives to be able to say, okay, well you can stay at home and you can homeschool. Um, so that was kind of the beginning of um, exploring um, self-directed or any alternative education. Um, and yeah, so I, I mostly self-directed my education up into the, till the end of high school. My moment of choosing something else was after high school when all my friends went on to university and I felt like I need something else before I go into another of these settings. I actually helped start a little school here in Costa Rica about 11 years ago. So that was my first experience sort of facilitating in that kind of environment or holding a project. And then three years ago, I started working at this beautiful community called Wildwood ALC in North Carolina, and that's where Pia and I met. And then after that, I worked at Windsor House, which is a magical community in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Yeah, so I've gotten, gotten really lucky to drop into some amazing places with, with people who are doing really, really groundbreaking, like, just transformational work. I had first worked as a teacher in, in Asia, in Vietnam, as an English teacher. And through that, I had had the chance to work with many different schools and to meet teachers and students and principals and parents from, from Russia, from China, from Indonesia, from Malaysia, from all these different places. And everyone told me they wanted something else and nobody was doing it. So I quit my job and I went to research the topic and then I went to Aero. Aero. Yeah. Aero is the Alternative Education Resource Organization. They have a conference once a year. And I went in there and I really felt like, oh, there are my people. <laughs> I didn't know all these people exist and I had this naive thought that I was the only one questioning how to educate. <laughs> and there they were, all these people who had been doing it for decades. That was definitely the moment where I thought, okay, whatever I had been thinking or doing before, this is definitely what I'm going to do from now on. One of the places where I love to find myself is with young people because they have so much to share. Kind of tap back into that really wild curiosity that young people still tend to have more of than adults that I want to I stay connected to. So that's, that's what I, I love. So